recommend a lobotomy. <laughs> that could help. That could help. Welcome back to Call for Help, the Halloween edition in the great tradition of Call for Help uh, in, in our seventh Halloween now, and we've always done costumes, and we're just doing them today, too. We're still coming on. Going. Oh, here comes Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Yee -haw. Yee -haw. All right, little buddy. In our great tradition of Call for Help, too, of uh, helping you out, we're going to talk a little bit about compression programs. You maybe use WinZip or you've used MP3s or JPEGs. They can crunch a file, so it takes less space on a computer or in an e email. But have you ever wondered how it works? Andy's here. Show us how compression works. Yes, sir. Come on in here, partner. Let's talk about <laughs> what's your horse's name. I don't know. What do you think my horse's name should be? <laughs> I don't know. Stuffy? I don't know. Inflaty? <laughs> you know, I'm wondering maybe if the hat would work on me here. Yeah. yeah. Mm. That's farmer. No. You look at me you look like a farmer. It's an Edmonton cow. Uh, Edmonton <laughs> cop. No, I think, uh, I think I'll stick with the regular cop hat. So, what, so compression. So compression. Let's, uh, you know, what you're taking is, a, is an existing file, and you're taking a bunch of stuff out of it, and you're making it smaller. Right. So now, there's, I should say there's two kinds of compression. Mm -hmm. There's lossless right. and lossy. Loss List, you don't lose anything when you reinflate it, it comes back to exactly the way it was. Lossy, you actually take material out to compress it even more. Right. It's reversible. Yeah. We're loss going to talk list. about lossless. Lossless. So you're going to compress something down and then you're going to uncompress it later. And it'll be exactly the same as it was before. Yeah, right. Okay. And, you know, it, it, when, when it comes to things like WinZip, you can get file compressions of 10, 20 times in some cases. And I, I've got a classic example here on my, on my screen. I've taken a call for help document, mm -hmm. a Microsoft Word document, which has lots of white space. Mm -hmm. And I've uh, uh, used WinZip zip on it and it's gone from 36 you know k down to 5k wow, less than a seventh the size that's really seventh great yeah so the question is how does it do, how do that? it do that and why didn't it do it in the first place i guess would be the other question <laughs> that'll be the other question another, yeah that's a good question for another day so does it involve apples lemons and tomatoes well if you think about what a file is it's actually a bunch of ones and zeros right. this binary code right? right and so what winzip and other programs like it do is it looks for patterns in those ones and zeros and it says you know what if we got 10 patterns like we have you know here's three tomatoes Mm -hmm. And here's another three tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Well, what's the point in having those if we can just sort of get take the tomatoes out and put something in its place to say there are three tomatoes here? Like one times three. One yeah. times three, yeah. right? So what it does is... Uh-oh. Are you going to give me something to wear? Yeah, let me... Uh... <laughs> when he gets the hammer out around tomatoes, I think it's time to put the slicker on. We got these from the uh, Maid of the Mist over at Niagara Falls. <laughs> That's right. And, uh, you know, the, the hole for the head is kind of small. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. That's what the cops have to wear. That's good. Yeah. Let me put the hat on too. All right. I'm ready. So, uh, so, <laughs> so the file comes along. How and do he, we do this, Andrew? And he goes, "Oh, look, there's a pattern." <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get your left. Oh, jeez. Okay. Rid of it, and um, <laughs> and instead. I'm going to destroy it, and I'm going to take a token. That's a token. A token. Looks like a mug, but we'll call it a token. Says three tomatoes. Three tomato token. And it's actually going it. to... Much smaller than the three much tomatoes. Much smaller than, than the three tomatoes, tomatoes before. So not so to not confuse people, there is no sledgehammer involved in WinZip. That's an electronic sledgehammer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, yeah, that's the idea. It yeah. basically takes something out, yeah. and it replaces it with something that's much smaller. So where there's redundancy... You can get more compression. Right. The more redundancy, the more compression. Well, imagine a file has, you know, 400 sets of three tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Well, you pull those all out and you, you replace it with one token, and it says it there sense. are three tomato, tomatoes here, and you can, yeah, yeah. get huge. Image files can be heavily compressed because, like, you know, blue sky, you just say, hey, there's a lot of blue sky here. Just, you know, for the next 400 bytes, blue. Sure. Yeah, sure. it makes it a lot smaller. And, and if you think about, uh, you know, uh, Word documents, I mean, Same thing. letters, yeah. you know, or, yeah. or lots of white space. Sure, 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 sure. Lots yeah. of spaces. So that's how file compression. You're works. going to uh, take the hammer to anything else? Oh, actually, I'll let you. <laughs> if you want to do it. All right. Ahead. If you want to know, I about know. It. Now this, but that, this was kind of lossy compression because I don't think you're ever getting that tomato back. Well, no. But normally, re re recon <laughs> reconstituted. It would be reconstituted exactly as as it was before. For more information on how file compression works. I feel like uh, I, I could be uh, like one of those chime ringers, you know, on Christmas. Check out our web notes at callforhelptv.com. Now, oh, oh. The, the, that was a bad choice. <laughs> it's time to taste your technology. Same thing. What are you? What are you giving me? Use just oh, use a tomato. <laughs> it's time to take the question. I can't squeeze him. What are Bezier curves? Eh, Bezier. Is it a way of predicting errors, a math used in vector graphics, a type of drafting tool, or a dangerous road in France? 
Attention, attention, Bézier curls ahead. Get to the website, give us the answer, we'll talk about it when Call for Help continues. All right, one more time. I'm going to smash this one. Oh, Zdenko, careful, he's running. Excuse me, baby.